Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Pink Press Studio and I am using a mix of the three latest collections, so Spring Vibes, Flower Market and Chrysanthemum. And I have lots of frames left on these three collections, so I wanted to make my focus on the frames. What I want to do is build up a background layer using them. So at the moment I'm just putting some powder on the backs of them so that they don't stick to my page because I want to be able to move them around. And that's just an EK Success um, powder dispenser, which is specifically for this reason, for taking the stickiness off. But it doesn't really work very well, so I have to put some onto my desk and then still use the brush. But um, but yeah, I mean, it does the trick if I do it that way. So, um, so that's what I do so that I can then move all of these around. And I want to do some mixed media, so I definitely want to stick, to stick them to the page anyway with glue, so it doesn't matter that I've done it this way. The paper that I have as my base layer, you'll notice it's very slightly off-white. It's actually watercolour paper, and I've used this so that I don't have to put some gesso on my page. So that's the arrangement I want to do, and I've chosen all blue and green because they go with my photos really well. There's blue and green in my photos. And I just want to focus on a couple of colours so that I can really get a mix from all of these collections. So I'm going to glue them down. This is just wet glue, scotch tacky glue. And I'm going to glue them all down. Skip through that by the power of video. And they're all stuck down there. So this is where the fun part begins and I'm going to do some mixed media. Um, so I just pull out my watercolours. I have this um, Japanese watercolour set, which I really love, and I'm just going to put a bit of colour inside those frames. And I'm choosing some of the colours from a little colour palette there, some blues and some green. So I'm going to start by putting some of this onto my plastic here, the two blue colours. And I'm going to paint inside, and it gets quite wet. And that's fine because it's watercolour paper, it's gone completely flat again and you wouldn't even know that the paper was buckled in anyway. Um, if you don't have watercolour paper, I would suggest you put some clear gesso down on the page first, just to hold these mediums. Okay, so I'm just sort of playing around, putting some paint in, flicking some paints, and then I think... Um, that I might also put some white acrylic, so that's going to pop out in just a second. There we go. And I think putting some white acrylic in is just going to tone down that blue because I think I've put just a bit too much in there. And the white just mixes in with the blue and just makes it a bit paler. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the green. And have a bit of a play with green in the same way as I did with the blue. And I do make it a lot darker than I, I had wanted. So, um, so you'll see how I deal with that in just a second. So I just put some water into there and then put some paint. And that helps it to spread around really easily. So I'm just putting some darker paint in there and I think it's too dark once I put that in. I'm not overly happy with that. But I decided to put some white in to try and lighten it up. And then I just dab up a bit of the paint and that's looking better. And so for the remaining frames, what I decide to do is to just put a very light wash of green there. And I mix some white acrylic in with my green watercolour. And that's just a nice little wash on the inside each of those frames. And I really like that. So I decided to dab out some of the darker paint out of the other green, the green frames, and make that much lighter too. And I like how that turned out. So a few more white splatters. And then I decided to do some blue splatters as well with the pale blue. They're very subtle. You don't see them very well on the last layer, on the final layout, sorry. And then I decide that I want to have some paint spilling out of the edges of these green frames. So I'm going to just, using my brush, just put some paint around the frames. 
just in very haphazard, messy fashion, nothing too neat or tidy, just sort of looking almost like it's bleeding out from the frames. And I thought about having some blue bleed out, but I thought that that might not work very well. So I decided to do it all in green in the end. And I like how that came out. I think that it, it does look like it's bled out of the frames and uh, it works pretty well. So I'm going to dry that off a, a little bit just so that I can get on with the next phase. And again, because this is watercolour paper, it flattens back out really easy on its own. So you don't need to worry about um, the paper buckling with the heat or anything like that. You can see one of the corners is up at the moment, but that does just write itself all on its own. OK, so my photos are coming back in and I'm pulling out some bits and pieces. I think this one is from Spring vibes these little journaling pieces so I'm going to use a couple of those to back my photos just to give them a little subtle hint around the edges of the green and stick those on okay so so I like how that looks and I'm going to use some of the little puffy bits. That was, I think that was also Spring Vibes, that pack um, of layered embellishments. And this one looks like Flower Market. It's little puffy stickers. I'm going to put some foam onto the back of my photos, mostly because um, they're on the frames and they're sort of popped up in places and not in others so I just wanted to put a full piece on there so that I could just stick it fully on top and I use a bit of tape and wet glue the tape is so that it grabs straight away and then the wet glue is so that it really does stick to any mixed media later um, I've got some more pieces here this is spring vibes some puffy stickers from spring vibes and I'm just picking out anything that's blue, all blue, or all green, or a mix of the two. I don't want to introduce any other colours here at this moment. So these little pieces are from Flower Market, I think, and they're little um, sort of um, transparent pieces, which are really super cute. This is from Chrysanthemum, so I'm going to take a couple of the green um, chipboard flare from there. These are also chrysanthemum and I'm going to get a couple of leaves from there just to add on next to my puffy stickers. Okay, still all green and blue. <laughs> Another chipboard flare. I didn't catch which one that was from. And Spring Vibes there again, little puffy flower, puffy sticker flower, and also that little oval shaped floral, which is blue with a little bit of green and white. And then I want to use Take It Easy as my title, but I don't want it to be so transparent. I want to be able to see it nicely on my page. So I'm just going to stick it onto some paper. This is just photocopier paper. It's nothing special. It's just super easy to cut out and gives it a, a solid background so that I can stick it on the page easily and nothing from underneath takes away from the title. Okay, as you can see it's really easy to cut out especially with this sort of paper. Um, cardstock would have made it a little bit more awkward to cut out Okay, so I'm just sticking down some of these other bits and pieces that I put on the page before so that they all stay where I put them. And I'm going to back these two pieces as well and cut those out again onto the uh, white copy paper. And you can just see how quick they are to cut out. There's no, they don't take any time at all. rounding the corners off of there. So I'm going to stick that one just underneath the top photo and that says these little moments. And then this one says you are something magical. 
and I thought that would be quite cute under that photo because um, Finley's looking at Chloe as if is as if she's great. So I thought that would work really well. And um, I I was putting on some um, sticky back foam underneath, but the orange I could sort of see the shadow from the orange, and it wasn't it was annoying me a little bit. So I decided to change to some white, and that's going to go in under the photo there. I'm just going to stick on my title, and just again sticky back foam on the back. I have an abundance of this sticky foam <laughs> and it's really I find it's really useful especially for awkward shapes there we go that's going to go there and that fits really nicely just in that spot there between the photos and then I'm going to add some um, enamel dots these are from flower market I'm just adding on some blue ones and some green ones and then I'm going to use the new Pink Fresh Studio um, gem jewel picker tool. And this is fantastic. You have to check this out. I think it's in the release coming very soon, but it has been sneak peeked. So you may have seen it already. And I'm putting on some of these glittery jewels um, onto the page just to finish it off. And I put a few, I skipped, I didn't show you all of them, but you'll be able to see them on the close ups. And uh, that's it. There's the final layout. I really hope it's given you some inspiration for mixing and matching with your kits. I find if you stick to a colour palette, it works really well and makes it super easy to do. Um, there are some close-ups coming up. I will link up below the three collections that I've used so that you can go and check those out. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Just shout out and I'll be happy to help. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Pink Fresh Studio. Bye bye.